Hello, this is Cindy Novotny with my Monday Morning Mentor, but you can see I've got two of my superstars that I am going to interview, and you're going to see that what we truly do here at MCA is practice what we preach. So I'd like to inter introduce you to Juliet Gary. Juliet is an intern working with us. She also works in our restaurant, Hannah's, and she's in hotel school. We are thrilled to have, have her here for the summer, and Jessica Martinez. Jessica handles a lot of our sales and social media and has been with us for many years after getting out of school. And both of them, although they look similar, if you think about it, they are of different generations. So Jessica is our millennial generation. And you know, hate to share ages, guys, but you know, <laughs> I think it's time we do that, right? She's 27 years old, being a millennial. Juliet, on the other hand, is that new, new up and coming generation that we call <laughs> Gen Z. I'm sure they'll rename that, but right now it's Gen Z. And she's 21. But I mean, look at them. I mean, you should feel good, Jessica, because you could look 21. <laughs> and yet, you, Juliet, could look 27. And that'll be good for job interviews. <laughs> so, what I would like to do is I wanted to take a moment and ask you some questions. And I'm going to start with Juliet on social media. Tell me a little bit about how you use social media uh, since you're at university and you obviously are connecting with hotels and jobs and things like that. Social media is a huge part of my life. I would say that um, in recent years and being at university and studying more, um, I my professional network and my social network are really well integrated, which kind of um, I see as a huge advantage. Um, you get to make your business colleagues more, meet them more on a personal level and I think that's huge for specifically my generation. Fabulous. And then, Jessica, now that you've uh, come out of school and you're working and an executive with MCA, how do you see the, the differences in how you utilize social media? Well, just in the past couple of years, actually, we at MCA have grown tremendously using social media. We are on every single social platform. Cindy's all over social media, obviously. So it's used more to connect with our customers, to get to know them and for sales purposes. So we're getting our company's name out there and we're you know, getting sales out of it as well. Fabulous. Now, I wanna go back to the fact that both of you are so successful in your own right and you have been. When I think about Juliet, she's been working at the restaurant, you know, since she was old enough to work and, and now doing so fabulous in school and, and her internship here and then Jessica Martinez, the same thing. What do you think really motivates you? Because there's a lot of people that, not just your age, but my age too, that just honestly seem to kind of can't kick it into gear. What motivates you to be successful? I think I'm so motivated by others, by the people around me. I, I would say one of my strong suits is seeing potential in other people around me. And when I see that potential wasted, I kind of, I feel like it fuels my own motivation and my energy and my passion to be successful and to accomplish the things I wanna do. And I feel like that surface, there is no surface there. There used to be, but being in university and having, you know, encouraging people around me, I, it, that's kind of broken through and I don't really see limitations for myself. Fabulous. I love that. And that should motivate anybody that's listening. So obviously on my Monday mentor moment, you know, I'm talking to not just business professionals, but I'm talking to young professionals that are coming up and, and any of you that are raising kids, I want you to think about that inner confidence. So that's very important. And then Jessica Martinez. Well, for me, it's kind of more of a personal goal. Um, you know, I want to be successful. I want to have that financial security. I want to have the job security so that I'll be able to accomplish things that I have wanted to do in my life, like raise a family and stuff like that. And it doesn't help to have Cindy Novotny as a mentor <laughs> who always kicks it into gear and makes sure that you are not straying from your goals. Fabulous. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let you ladies, I'm gonna turn the camera over, I'm gonna pause for one moment, turn the camera over to you, and I'm gonna let you ask me a question. So with that, one moment. Okay, Cindy, I would like to know what you think the most important qualities are in a successful business person and if those qualities evolve and change by generation and over time. You know, I think for, for me, one of the, the most important elements of being successful in business is that you have to 
have so much motivation to do everything. You know, a lot of people get out of school and they, they look at things like, I'm only gonna do A or B, then I wanna get this big raise. In reality, you have to be willing to work for very little money, you have to be willing to take the good with the bad, and you have to know that hard work does pay off. I think that's one of the biggest areas that I see people get out of school and say, you know, well, I graduated, I've got my master's degree, I'm ready to go, and it's like, well, yeah, but you need to start and learn what it's like in the real world and it does pay off so you know some of the same attributes that you have when you're going to school you know trying to do the best job and trying to get good grades and and not getting into trouble and being a, a good citizen and being being a, a class act that does go and relate right into the future as you get out of school uh, you know having a, a good social media platform when you're young I mean I look at some of these people and think how what were you thinking to put that on Facebook? But it's people like you that they wouldn't put that on Facebook. They would clean up their act and always have cleaned up their act before they ever put anything on social media. So those are some of the success ratios I look at. It's hard work, it's honesty, it's integrity, it's having the ability to, to work hard and not expect that you're gonna get a handout from every single thing you do. I do so much stuff that I'm not charging for. I do so much coaching that I'm not charging for. People pay me to do a one hour coaching session and sometimes it goes an hour and a half to two hours and I'm not saying, oh well, there you go, I'm gonna send you another bill because I might have felt that, you know what, you needed that extra time and I've done that my whole life and I did that when I worked in restaurants. I always gave that little extra, that little cherry on top of the sundae that would make people think, wow, I mean, that's unbelievable and I'll remember your name and I think that's what, what really makes people successful. Awesome. And last question, I wanted to know where your inner confidence comes from because I think most people that follow you on social media and follow you at MCA just have probably never met anybody quite like you. Okay, so just so you know, the confidence doesn't just come naturally. I I look back and I wish I would have been on the debate team. I wish I would have been in school plays. I love to sing and I love to get out there and do this stuff now, but when I was younger, I was always so nervous. Even when I became a director of marketing with Weston Hotels, I can tell you that I used to always wear turtlenecks because I got so red and blotchy. I would be so nervous going into owner meetings. I would think, oh my gosh, I mean, I don't even know. What if I say the wrong thing? What if I do the wrong thing? My confidence has come over the years because I truly believe in what I sell, I believe in what I do, I know that if I screw up, and I do screw up all the time, I make mistakes, that I will be open about it and I won't try to fake it or cover it up, I will just overcome it. I will admit it, like wow, I made a mistake, this wasn't that great, let's back up and redo something. Uh, when when I know there's issues even among my, among my team, I try to talk about it. I let people give me feedback. I mean, sometimes I don't like what I hear either. And you know, when you put yourself out there like I do, and in speaking and in workshops and on social media, you know, 90% of the people like you and then there's 10% that don't. And early on in my career, I would focus on that 10% and I would read like the negative comments or I would read something that somebody said and it would start to really wind me up. And now, you know what, I know that if 90% of the people that I'm touching I'm making a difference with and they're they're enjoying it the other 10% so what sorry but guess you'll have to find a new friend because maybe we just don't go hand in hand like jam and jelly right <laughs> and the key is that if you believe that what you're doing is good and what you're doing is right and that you're not in it just for you but you're in it to help other people the confidence is there and I don't try to be what I'm not. I'm really good at selling, I love selling. I built my business. I didn't have one brochure, I didn't have a website at the beginning, I had business cards and a telephone. And I built my business by going out and hitting the pavement, making sales calls and selling. I. I know it works. I'm great as a leader. I do have trouble sometimes. I, I step over my boundaries or I'm not, I sometimes don't give the feedback quite right. But if you ask anybody that's worked with me, and there's people that are going to listen to this that I guarantee you I fired over the years. Some of those people have called me since the last several years and said thank you very much because honestly, if you wouldn't have fired me, I wouldn't be where I am today. I believe in tough love. 
I believe in crucial conversations. I believe it in my 35 years of marriage. I believe it with my family. I think that as a leader, you have to be true and honest and you have to continue to help people grow and that helps with my inner confidence. And then I'm good at service. I think we give great service and we deliver great service and everybody on our team tries to do that and that helps build my confidence. So that inner confidence doesn't come from being cocky, doesn't come because I think I'm unbelievable because I've always wanted to be 5'7 and blonde and I'm not that and I've always wanted to like be homecoming queen when I was younger and I wasn't that, never made a miss anything, stay or America, so it wasn't that. It really has come from the fact that honestly, what you see is what you get. And that's the real Cindy.